Oof, get ready because this girl is off to a pizza. Ugh, can we get some better airplane food though? First stop, Paris, for a little layover. Here's the crew. This is Alexis, royal sweetheart with a little bit of spice and always prepared for anything. This is Selah. Sorry I didn't get a better photo, but she's the baby of the group. Yet somehow the most mature. This is Kira, ultimate hype woman. If you want to have a fun time, find Kira. No, I'm Janice. I'll be narrating. The girls waited for their gate as they gave it 15 minutes prior to the plane taking off. But finally, they were on their way. <laughs> And this is our bedroom. Let's get a room tour, Louise. I love the sink. Oh, never mind. All right, you guys, I just unpacked everything. A couple pieces that I didn't show you guys. So this is a two-piece set, pink pants and a princess poly top. Two-piece set that I got recently from Ten Shop. This is a jumpsuit that I've never worn, but I figured might as well bring it. This is from Outcast. It's a long dress with some cutouts. This is also from Princess Polly. This is from Lo. Shout out to Gia, love you girl. She did her thing on this piece. I can't wait for you guys to see it on me. This is a backless dress that actually broke when I was in Palm Springs but I can just hook it back on, so I think it should be fine. But really stunning low back from Revolve. This I got from Windsor, actually, and I love the knot detail. This is so flattering on my boobs. Like, I have not seen a more flattering dress on my boobs than this dress right here. It has underwire, and then just like the one shoulder, it just really scoops them and lifts them. This you also saw on my Hello Molly vlog. Again, Hello Molly. This is from Windsor. It's a one shoulder dress. I just like the print. I thought it was really fun and bright for Ibiza. This is for I London from Revolve, and I just really love the print. And then I have my bags up here. I only brought four bags, you guys, because I wanted to like pack light. Actually, only four bags. I probably should have brought two. I have a white one, a silver, a nude and then a color i have some accessories over here i got these glasses on amazon they look so sick on like they're just so fun uh definitely barbie vibes and then these are just like space spacey lueve kind of vibes and then i have some belly chains earrings necklaces a scrunchie just like little accessories and then down here are my shoes so i brought a white pair of heels a nude pair a couple colors these are just comfy heels so if my feet hurt from these i'm gonna put these on and then some slides in the back. I also brought these ink box tattoos. So I think we're gonna do some like semi-permanent tattoos. And then I put all of my bikinis in here. They all kind of match with the dresses. Cute cover-ups. These I got from Ten Shop. This is from Revolve. That's all my stuff, guys. Now I'm gonna shower because I'm so hot and sweaty. It's really hot here. You guys, I could seriously get lost in here. It's such a maze, but I can't believe this is real life. Like this place is gorgeous. And I heard that Cristiano Ronaldo stayed here. And Justin Bieber. Girl, I'm about to be eating good because we have a chef. Rise and shine. <laughs> I think I got transported to another dimension from that nap. Just like, trying to pull me to heaven. <laughs> Day one and we already have a gorgeous sunset. Enjoy the villa to yourselves, girls, because pretty soon some new hot singles will be coming in. All right, you guys, the lighting in here is so bad. I just did my makeup in Sayla's room. I love this dress. I feel like such a goddess. Now we gotta accessorize. Maybe these are kind of fun. I think we're gonna go with these. It kind of gives like a cult Gaia look. Cult Gaia on a budget, bitch. I'm doing these comfy little shoes from Franco Sarto. These are so perfect for vacation. They're a great color, and I just feel like they're so comfortable, but they still look chic. Shing touches, I'm using this Dossier perfume. Floral marshmallow, it smells like love, don't be shy, it's really good. Cute, all right, we're going to dinner now. Pose, pose photo shoot, yeah, 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 pose. pose. For dinner, we are going to Cipriani, baby, Ibiza style. So much. We got the biggest table at the club. Say that in my vlog. We got the Bloody smallest blood. table in the back. <laughs> How are you guys feeling about going to the number one club in the world? So excited. <laughs> I'm gonna have a seizure. I'm so excited. She's actually epileptic, guys. It's not a joke. We had so much fun watching Fisher DJ. They brought out like 12 bottles of champagne and they had these little masks for sale, so I got one.
We're trying Swedish candy, so we're trying marabou. What's your favorite? What is this one? Mm. These are the best. We had so much fun dancing, and now we're going to sleep. Good night, guys. Hello, Louise. Are you awake? Hello. Good evening. You guys, you are not going to believe this. It's 5.30. We just slept 13 hours. I did set an alarm, and I slept through it, so... I'm gonna have to set like seven alarms, I think. I'm gonna be that person and sleep with the blinds open tonight because we slept with them closed. So it was like blackout blinds. Sayla came in my room and she's like, um, there's no way you guys are still sleeping. I've just done my hair. I did like this zigzag part. And then you can see the back is just like spiky. She looks like Draco Malfoy. Are you going to tell her my- All right guys, we had to get ready so fast, but these are my shoes. This is my two-piece set from Ten Shop. I'm doing this white bag, Shakmu. And then this is like my crazy hair. It's spiky and then these glasses. Pink on my eyes. Make it like this. Gorge. Make like this. Okay, take back the Draco Malfoy comment. No, I love it. But it looks like the new singles have arrived. actually awake and alive so we're gonna go tan and have some breakfast all right you guys this is my next look um tonight we're going to a show so it's gonna be really fun I did like very glam makeup with this cheetah two-piece set. Drinking before dinner, if that's not an indication of a long night, I don't know what is. We got to the marina and it was simply stunning. The lighting was perfect. So as soon as we got in, we had to take some photos. There was a gorgeous pier on the other side. So we snapped some pictures there and then went in for the show. Let me tell you, this show was unlike anything I'd ever been to. The girls were dancing, singing. I got FOMO. So Alexis and I naturally started dancing as well and Sayla joined in. But honestly, we could not keep up because look at these dancers. Like they had everything down to a science. Last night I went a little too hard and today I am definitely feeling it. Um, I'm just like, my brain just is shutting down. But I did get an IV, so hopefully I'm going to feel better soon. I just, oof, so much partying, my body isn't used to it. And not drinking enough water so I'm trying to drink this big thing of water today um, but I can't complain because I just look around and it's so beautiful here and I'm so grateful for all the crazy things I get to experience and I'm just reflecting on it because if I think about where I was in my life like a couple years ago I would never guess that I would be here right now doing this and being able to travel the world like this and see so many amazing places. I just feel really privileged, so I'm very grateful. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm reflecting and enjoying the view and getting some vitamin D. Yeah, but then we're going to have some dinner and see David Guetta tonight. other DJ. DJ Pritz, I think it is. I'm not sure. He's like the top DJ in the world and I don't even know his name. 
but I think it's gonna be a really really good set so anyway just checking in bye <laughs> All right, here's my outfit for tonight. My shoes are Franco Sarto. My dress is from Windsor. And then I did a slick bun again. It's so humid here that I'm just doing slick buns for everything because it's so easy. I'm gonna eat dinner now at the house. And then we're going to the set at Ushuaia. It's also the pesticides in America. But when you get like a tomato, mm -hmm. you know, but I wish we could have seen more dancing. <laughs> yeah. Let me take that back. Fly away, birdie. Hey guys, I just wanna... First of all, cheers to Louise for her amazing essence of life. You're just like filled with life. Aww. Alexis broke her shoe, so look. I go a walking after midnight. <laughs> Safe to say these girls cannot handle any responsibility at this time. What? This should be entertaining. Be in your diaper and you need help. Yes. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, well. Okay. I thought I, I thought I was gonna die and get kidnapped. Okay, well, we're gonna make sure it doesn't happen. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna fight them off for me? I'm gonna fight them off for you, babe. Oh my god, it's a snake. There's a snake in my tractor. Dear Liza, a snake. Okay, guys, we have to drop the key off at the call box. Something tells me this isn't going to go as planned. We're on a mission. We're on a missione. I stole some corn nuts. I'm pretty sure those aren't corn nuts. Yum. Cacahuete. Isn't caca poop? <laughs> no, it's <laughs> caca is poop. It's a little scotch, a little sus. That's horrifying. The creepiness. I'm like, oh, he's like, there's something there. Oh my god. It's the chupacabra. <laughs> chupacabra. Fuck. Chupacabra's gonna get us. <laughs> Okay, put it there. Now let's. Now do you have to press it to make it close? No. Oh. Okay. We're good. Okay, you guys. We don't know Weird. if this is. <laughs> it's literally it's like nothing. Like rocket. I will go over there. It was a raccoon and it went in the bush. But Sayla is no. convinced that the shadow is <laughs> yeah. the animal. I'm pretty blind, so I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing over there. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> These are how horror films start. What was that? I don't know. It came out of nowhere. <laughs> Alexis said I hate these shoes. There's no way they're coming inside with me.
It's the last day, and in order to take all of these chupacabra demons out of me, I'm getting a massage. Overall, the massage was good, but this masseuse spent 30 seconds just putting her hands on my chest, which was a little weird. But I definitely do feel more relaxed. I do not know what I'm going to do without waking up to this view and this chef. Oh my goodness, like, this place is a dream. For our last dinner, we went to Nobu Ibiza style. I feel like Nobu just never gets it wrong. Like, the atmosphere, it's perfect for taking photos, first of all. Second of all, the food is just so, so good. We finished our trip with some sake for the table, and that was it. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned on my travels by subscribing to me so you can get a notification every time I post a video.